third time so here we go what's going on guys math gaming here um back with another rust video this is going to be a bit different yes this base is huge I've, I've been sitting here for about an hour just doing this this is pretty much uh what i do on this modded server i'm playing um build big bases and hope for the best uh so today's not going to be a normal video again this is going to be sort of just like a story type shit but this is going to be um, how I started Rust and why I started playing it and some of the stuff that happened to me within my first day of playing or maybe a few days. So I started Rust back, well I can't remember actually but it was like maybe a year or two ago when Rust was still very very like glitchy and I think it was just after Legacy or maybe on Legacy, I'm not sure. But this was ages ago um i wasn't into the game much that at uh, that moment but that was when me and my friend connor um connor bought the game for me um so i didn't buy it um i bought it for another friend so i sort of paid the game i bought it for my friend michael so we went on it but i didn't know what the game was he was like oh uh, it's a survival game so i was like yeah i'll play it then um, the, when I started playing, I did not know what I was doing. It took me about half an hour to figure out how to craft something. That's how bad it wasn't. I didn't watch any videos on it or have any past knowledge or experience of survival games in general. This was sort of when I was new to PC gaming as well, so I was sort of like, oh, uh, it wasn't good with the keyboard and mouse. But we, I spent a couple hours and I eventually found my friend, we met up, um, I think it was because we made a sleeping bag and found out how these sleeping bags work, I'm sure it was. But we met up and we, we pretty much made, um, I think it was like a, I'm trying to remember here, my memory's not that good, but it was like a 2x2, two two, no, it was a bit bigger, I think it was 4x4 four four base, it was pretty big. But we didn't know what we were doing, so we made it out of thatch and... It got shot down eventually, and we were like, how the fuck did the shooter base down? Because uh, it was these Russians, um, I say about 20 meters away from our base in a big tower. We were thinking, oh, the guys are fucking professional, how did they do that? And so we rebuilt our base, so it was Fatch again, because we didn't, we didn't know about upgrading. Um, we thought the Russians just had the metal base for no reason, we didn't know that upgrading was a thing. Um, so we built this base, we had it, we, we were doing all right for ourselves, we had quite a bit of wood, quite a bit of stone, it took us a while to get that, and then the Russians came again and fucked us up, it just kept on, it kept on happening, um, until we figured out, oh, we can upgrade our base, so we made it wood, um, and then stone, and eventually we just kept playing Rust, um, and then I remember coming on one day, and the the whole base was gone and the whole server like this was a wipe i did not know what a wipe was um i went on i was like where the fuck did everything go why is the map different and everyone's like oh the game wiped so i had to go and google what the fuck a wipe was on rust and that that was um this is this is my experience and how do it was back then not nice um so after that i sort of just gave up and didn't play it for a couple months uh, quite a quite a bit of months actually and then Connor asked me to come back on, so I came on, and the server that we came on was this one I'm on right now, Naked Wars. It's quite empty at the moment. I was a two player, so I was only one player. Um, it's me because it's night time and it's UK. It is currently 2.51, so yeah. So he um, came up. So I, I went on. It was a server Naked Wars. It used to be a lot more player. I, I, I swear there was like 30 people on. Um, we built a base, well we didn't build it, we started on a base, um, and this guy called Mr. Poopy Butthole, or Gandalf, his name is now, he came and he helped us build a base and we thought he was the best at Rust, like we were like, oh my god, this guy is so good, because he pretty much came and armoured up our base and made it all, like we built the foundations and shit, but he built the base for us, we were like, wow. This guy is like the pro at Rust. He had a big base out in the water, and we were like, "How did he build that?" Nothing that I have built has ever been that good. That was at the moment of time. This this base is bigger than that base that was in the water, but we were like, "That is nice up there." Um, so um, we just kept playing, and we met up with some of the regulars on the server. Uh, Gandalf Wanderer is um 
the Riddler, Tom, I think his name is, um, a lot of people we met. Uh, there's another one up there, Foxy, he's one of the admin's friends. So, I met a lot of people on the server. This, this is why I play modded, because I know the community on the server. This is sort of turning the story. I can't, I'm not good at telling stories, right? But, yeah, this is, this is pretty much why I play modded, because I know the community on the server. Even, even though it's not a big community, they're all, I'm really, I like them all, and they're sammed, and they're quite friendly, and they're my friends. Um, I've, I've been speaking to them for a couple of years now, so... No, I don't see the need to switch the villain vanilla. Even if like everyone on YouTube's like, oh, vanilla, fucking best modded game. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change because of that. Because I really like the community on this server. The, then, so getting back to that, when I first started playing, we were, we had this good. I, I liked that base. That base was pretty big for our standards. And this clan called GPA came over and totally destroyed it and we were like how did how we didn't even know c4 was a thing back then we were like oh but as the, like they destroyed the walls and then they took it over they set their homes in the base which was against the rules and eventually they ended up getting banned i think they, yeah they're all banned now there's quite a bit of them in the gpa clan they got banned and they were they, we were happy because we got our base back and all that and then this ever wiped again and this time I was prepared for the wipe, so we played again. I can't really remember much after this, but that was when I started playing a bit more. And then I took a break after that on Ross and started playing more Minecraft. I was bored, I played Minecraft a lot. Um, and I think that's when I went on my Xbox for a year to play Battlefield 4. This was around the thing when the Xbox One was out, I believe. I'm not sure, I think this was it. The Xbox One on Battlefield 4, where I played shit tons of that. Um, and then... Uh... I came back again, and I've just played Rust since that. I've just played it, now I've got like 600 hours. I don't play it, well, I've stopped playing it the past few days, but I did. I've been addicted to Rust a bunch of times, I'm back into it right now. Um, sorry if these videos bore you, but it's, I'm just going to tell you my origin story on how I started playing Rust. So when I started playing it again, and um, I made a video on Rust. It was something like the dome, me climbing the dome, and how to climb the dome, like... the and then that got some views and I was like people enjoy Rust videos and I enjoy making these videos why don't I upload them which I do and that has just took me to where I am right now with around 710 subscribers I think a lot for me and so that, that took me to this day and I just enjoy making these videos and I might sound tired I've like told you it's late at night I'll be back to doing normal videos. I'll set this base up. My friend's level 24, so I'll start farming. Um, he'll start farming at C4. And then um, I'll make gunpowder and give up to him, and he'll make the gunpowder or the C4 or the rockets or whatever. Uh, and then I'll be able to get up with more raids for you guys and stuff like that. And that'll just benefit everyone because raids are fun. I'm also playing vanilla at the moment as well. I've got a small base in vanilla. I might just switch between servers and upload a vanilla video or a modded video. It depends if I'm not raided on vanilla or not. If I get raided on vanilla, I'll just give it up. Um, I'm also wanting to do collaborations with anyone that's willing to. And just general meeting up with fans on Rust and playing with you guys. Um, making big bases and making videos with you. Um, it really sounds fun because I enjoy meeting new people. Um, some people might join my team speak and I'll be quiet as fuck because I'm very shy. It may not seem that I'm shy because I'm in YouTube as well. No. I fucking... I, I don't know. My confidence is not as high. I, I'm real confident with my friends and shit. But over the mic, I seem less confident than real life. It's weird. I don't know. I think I've got like fucking confidence mic disease or something. I just don't like talking online because... I don't know, I'm scared of someone might bully me for my voice, I guess. Um, but in making videos, it just feels natural to me. In front of a microphone talking, it just feels so natural and easy. I don't see why no one would hate it. I don't anyone would hate it. I just enjoy talking in front of a microphone on my own, like a weird person. But it does, it, it's fun. Believe me, I enjoy this, so I won't stop. I 
even if I fucking lost every subscriber and I got like two 20 views or something. If I got 20 views, it's still a lot of views for me because views. It's just a feeling that someone's actually watched my video and left a like on it. Even if it, someone disliked it, it's like, oh, you don't like it, so I'll improve on that and I'll try and make them better. I don't know. So, uh, before I blab on too much, I'll just end this video. It was just, just a quick story on how I started on Rust and what I've been doing, how I play it. I don't know. I, I might make more Rust tutorial videos on how to like get better and some more of them Rust concepts videos that I've made. I've made mean, one, but I really got some more things that I think that could be good in the game, like extra spears and shit like that. So thanks for watching, Mammoth Gaming out. I keep trying to say Marry the Mammoth because that's my old name. I changed that because I was scared in case like um, the studio behind Dice Age came and went, fuck you. They're using our character as a YouTube name, you are being demolished. So yeah. Um, but I say just like one of my favourite movies for some reason, and it's kind of bully, bullying, it's kind of like, boo, hold on, I'm trying to say the word, it's kind of young, so I don't care if anyone bullies me over it, um, it's like a movie intended for like seven year olds or something, it's really childish, but I enjoy it, since I was young I've always liked this age, and the new one was excellent, I, I, I like this age, that's, that's pretty much how I roll, so, oh shit, I was meant to say bye, so goodbye, fuck me, I bothered on too much, haven't I?